Excuse me. What did you just put in the cart? What is that? Soupy. <laughs> oh. I know, but it's a cup. It's a cup that you don't. You shouldn't be drinking out of. It's too don't. big. Don't. You should want mommy to get that one for you. Hmm. Okay, we need some cookie cutters in our life, Jude. These are cute too. Adorable. Look, Benny, isn't that cool? Mommy needs to cook like that. Think it's cool. <laughs> music during the day. At least I'm doing it during the day, right? So, I have such a mess I need to clean up, but I need to get my face on, and then I also need to take some supplements. It's a disaster zone in here, because I was so sick last night that I was like throwing up like the exorcist. It's not even funny, so yikes. Everything is everywhere. Towels from like trying to catch my throw up. And here's what I'm wearing today workout clothes that I got from Victoria's Secret and just the top like a loungy kind of a sweatshirt because it has a hood and then I'm wearing like a what is this called a workout top but I have to have work wear like it's a workout top that has a built-in bra or a built-in sports bra and then I have a sports bra underneath that because I need to hold these things down and then these pants kind of remind me of disco pants I don't know. Let me turn the light on. They kind of remind me of disco pants, like the material, because they're kind of shiny. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I really like them. I really do, and I mean, obviously, I wouldn't wear these out to the club, but I found out disco pants are like 80 or $95. I was like, what the? Um, probably not. Especially if I'm in the middle of losing weight, that's not going to happen. I don't know what happened last night, but I decided to just dye my hair dark brown again. And for those of you who are wondering what color it is, it's this one. Whoa! It's um, Garnier Fucci's Nutrice. Oh lord, I jacked that all up. But it's number um, 40 dark brown, and this is like my favorite one. So just look with the gr look for the girl with the dark brown hair bangs. And I got two boxes of those because I wanted to make sure that I covered all of the blonde, and I did. So you can almost see like almost highlights in my hair because my hair was so blonde at the bottom that it has like some streaking going on here or some highlight business. But I like the result and I can't wait to style my hair and put my weave back in. Okay, um, so I just got a few things while I was out and I had breakfast with my sister and I just didn't vlog because we were talking about a lot of personal things. So that's why I didn't take you guys then. And then also we heard about the school shooting, Jude's dad um, called me really early and he was really upset because uh, I let him know that there was an accident at Jude's school and it just freaked me out because I feel like Jude's not safe and I want him to be in a, in a place where even the, the playground part is inside and it's completely sealed and covered but my sister made a really valid point, like, you just can't protect your kids from anything. Like, there's sick people out there, you can be walking down the street, you can be in your house, you can be at church, you know, anywhere, at the mall, at the bank, there's like killings everywhere and it's just like the world's getting so sick and it's scary. 
but you just have to be like in a positive mind where you know that if anything happens at any moment you'll be right with God and with people that you care about so just it was it was just it made me feel really sick to my stomach and uh, so that's that and he's sleeping right now because it's nap time but it just it made my stomach drop like I can't believe someone would kill all those kids and I don't know the full story because they're still it's still under investigation I, I can't I can't imagine losing dude like it's like might as well just kill me too because I don't I don't know how I would function without my son like that's it's insane and I'm glad that I we had a good you know goodbye at school and I make sure that I love I tell him I love him like all day long I'm sure I sound annoying but at least he knows that I love him and and I never let him go to sleep without him knowing that I love him and giving him hugs and kisses constantly and throughout the day because if anything God forbid anything happened to my son I don't want to live with any regrets so it just it's really sad and and my heart goes out to the parents who have lost their children it's like devastating I, I can't imagine I don't want to imagine I mean even if it was a family member or anybody just children and, and, and just blah, children period it's just like uh, it's just it's sad it's, it makes me sick. I am trying to put my makeup on and I've been watching James Arthur on YouTube for like the last hour and I can't stop crying. He's such a good singer. He's so extremely talented. Like, it's ridiculous. I have to keep watching him over again. He's so good. Stop it. You're so good. God. Ugh, damn you! And I tried buying his music, but since I don't live in the UK, I guess I can't get it on iTunes. It's like, the heck? I love him! He's so talented! Jude, you eat boogers? I don't think there's an. Hey, I told you, Jude, if you drop that, I'm not gonna pick it up. Go ahead, drop it, please. Drop it, because I don't want those Cheerios, anyways. No, I'm not dropping. Come on, drop it. Drop it on the floor. No, I'm not dropping. Hey, hey, listen here, you little creature of the night. You better say sorry right now. Sorry. Yeah, so I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm crazy in the store. Embarrassing me. Hmm. Hermie, Hermie, Hermie. Judy, I thought, you were, I thought you wanted some boogers. Two points. So I'm talking about. Good morning. Um, Jude's eating his breakfast when he does my mom. Yep, my mom. Um, and I'm making myself some tea. But as I do that, or as I'm starting my morning, I'm going to be organizing my pantry. I know that's what people with OCD do. <laughs> they just get obsessed with. Well, for me, I get obsessed with like organizing. This is easily like out of control. Like I just buy so much stuff for the pantry, um, for like different ingredients and spices and and just everything is in here. And then also on top of here, I put all of like the snacks and chips and, and cookies and stuff like that for Jude Isaac up there, so it's not at like his reach, so he can just grab something and eat it. Um, so yeah, I need to organize this. I need to organize the bottom of my sink. Um, and then uh, my drawers again. Just mopped, swept and mopped the whole house. And I'm done with my organizing, which is ha! Oh, everything is nice and organized. And then I moved all of my tea stuff into this cupboard. So like all my drinks and teas and stuff are in here. All my Starbucks instant Starbucks cups here, hot chocolate, abalitas, and then like um, syrups to flavor coffee, teas, a bunch of teas, some sweetener here, and then more tea back there. So yeah, that's that. And Judy, can you bring the, the basket over here, baby? Basket? Mm-hmm. I need to, uh, I need to fold the, the towels now. Come on. Thanks. Thanks, sugar. Okay. Life.
<laughs> the glamorous life of a YouTuber behind the scenes. Gotta keep my house clean. Um, I know definitely I'd be up to different things if I didn't have a child. And I don't know, I just think that it would be less entertaining because I've got so much, so much to do with you, huh, bunny bear? What you got there? Hey, where are you going? Oh my god, you look like Chucky for a second. Stop. Jude, Jude. Stop it, Cochino. Jude, Jude Isaac. Does my butt smell good? Jude, does my, does mommy? Jude. Oh my god, psycho. Jude Isaac, come on. Help me out, bun. Let's go. Come on, put all the put all the, the tools in here, okay? And then you need to put the play-doh back inside inside the little the little containers, okay bud? There you go. Good job. Okay, hey, be careful, okay, because you got Play-Doh all over the floor. Okay, I need you to go over here, please, because I need to clean the floor. Judaize it, please. Over here. Over here, please. Okay, thank you. Okay. You bumped your toe. Do you want me to kiss it? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Watch out. Where? Where? Right here. Let me see. Give it to me. Give me your foot. Oh, 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 oh. I want color. Color? Yeah. It's kind of late though. You're going to sit down nice and then color? Yeah, color. Okay, you can finish watching the rest of the movie, but after that, it's lights out for you, dude. Okay, have a seat. Okay, have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Let's go. We get no. Chute smashing one of his friends as he colors, but I am ready to call it night, and he um, is going to color for a little bit, I guess. Don't mind on the weekends um, because he doesn't have school the next morning and he doesn't go to his dad's house because I don't want him to be all crazy, and I don't mind sleeping in on Sunday morning, so um, yeah. I want to take him to church tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. And I love taking him to the Calvary Chapel because um, they have classes for him so he can learn while I'm learning and, and listening to the preacher. So that's nice. Um, and we get up pretty early anyhow and Jude's got tons of church clothes so I need some Jesus in my life. So while Jude's doing that, I'm gonna clean up my nails because I just did a really quick job and um, take some vitamins and get ready for bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so we just got back and um, it's time for a nap. We just had sushi, but before that, I went to get my eyebrows threaded and I'm not too happy about that, which I've already expressed on <laughs> Twitter because every time I go, I feel like they always take too much off my eyebrows, but whatever. Um, I just got back from church early this morning. So it was church and then eyebrows and then sushi. I wanted you to get his hair cut, but the barber was closed today, so. That stinks. Every time I want to take them, they're always closed or they're almost about to close, so it's always like a big rush. Um, he just needs really his his bangs cut because they're too long. Um, but yeah, I went to a really awesome church in San Dimas, California, and it was amazing. I'm definitely going to be going there every um, Sunday, and I just had such an emotional experience. It's one of those times where you just wake up and you're just like, I can't wait to go to church because I've been feeling really like 
something was missing and you know I don't know I just went and it was just like the best sermon or speech or lesson or whatever you want to call them in your churches but um, it was just amazing and then at the end they had like a bunch of people go on the stage and they were holding like signs kind of like signs that you see homeless people or panhandlers hold like at the freeway exits and stuff to to ask you for money and it just told like what their problem was or what was hindering their life like someone said they were an alcoholic or some lady said that she lost her kids because she was addicted to drugs and um, some other girl said um, she was addicted to heroin some guy said he was bulimic and uh, just it was just like it really touched me really moved me and then when they flipped their sign over it said you know through God's grace they overcame that or they were like 20 days sober or 15 years sober or you know they got their kids back through God and all this stuff and it's just really really touching and the tears would not stop falling out of my face even after it was done I was just like oh my gosh like this is crazy and then when I went to go pick up Jude he was really really happy and excited he fell from the um a step or two from the playground and he messed up his nose but nothing too crazy I mean there was no blood or anything but he besides that I mean he would just was having a good time and we interrupted him and his new friend from church playing and it was really cute but I'm vlogging vlog he's are you walking I'm vlogging what are you doing nothing yeah well you're supposed to be sleeping He's listening to me, so I better go to sleep. And then tonight, hopefully, fingers crossed, eyes crossed, everything crossed, <sighs> tongue flipped, everything. Um, bath weather's nice, so we can go to the thoroughbred lights in Altaloma or around Cucamonga or whatever city you want to call it. It's out east from where I live, and um, just really nice neighborhood full of lights. So hopefully me and my sister and our family, as well, just me and Jude, but our families get to experience the light so stay tuned oh we just woke up from our nap right now so i'm gonna grab my vitaminas um i got b12 i think i told you guys this already though i got b12 biotin and cinnamon i'm gonna take those today hopefully they help they're like different things that they help with each one i mean biotin it's really for like your nails and your hair in your skin and things like that and um, my hair keeps falling out so that's kind of freaking me out and it's not just like a couple of strands like globs and my hair keeps falling out and I'm like so like oh my gosh my hair um, so that's why I'm taking that anyways I'm back in the mix with well I'm back in the mix I'm back in the kitchen back this is the this is our mix right here I'm back in the kitchen and I'm gonna make myself some coffee of course um, I already had my green tea with uh, lunch. I need to add water. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? Excuse me, sir. No, come on, Judy. No, no, no. Put it back. No, Sarah. You don't want chicken and rice? No, Sarah. Okay, you want what you want. Do you want to pick a a piece of fruit too? Yeah. Okay, do you want apple, orange, banana? Apple. Okay. Do you want me to cut it for you? Yeah. What do you say? Yes, please. Okay. All right, I guess I'm out of the woods. I don't have to cook anything. I thought he wanted, or not cook, heat something up because he um, didn't eat all of his food from lunch, so I was just going to serve it to him for dinner. And he doesn't mind, and especially with like, Asian foods in general you have to like eat it like the same day twice or the next day right away because it just goes bad really quickly and I was such in the mood for pho I didn't get it we ended up just sticking with uh, sushi but that's okay um so cereal it is Jude thanks Call me. Hello? 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 Hey. Hey, did you call me? Yeah, I wanted to know if you guys wanted to go see the lights tonight. The Christmas lights? Yeah. Where are you? And it's 
considered Old Tuloma, but I think it's just like just right past like um, Ranch Cucamonga. Oh, okay. Did you talk to Chris about it? Yeah, she just said she she told me to call you, so I'm like, okay. I'm not sure if you guys can see me very well, but I am outside of um, Jude's grandparents' house on his dad's side, and they're letting me borrow um, what's it called the the wagon that they bought him a couple of years ago for Christmas, I think. Either no, it was for his birthday. I think it was for his first birthday that bought him like a really nice little radio flyer, and it comes with a little canopy. So him and his cousins get to sit nice and cozy and warm while we drag them around Alta Loma to see the lights at Thoroughbred Street. And Judy's right here being a turkey, yelling at everybody. Why do your bangs look jacked up? You want to go home now? Okay, then you say sorry. Sorry. Okay, be a nice boy to mommy. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks, son. So we're waiting, and I got him a blanket. I have an umbrella for me. There's a bag for trash, and then I've got a bunch of juices and cookies, little packs of cookies for him and his cousins, because I know they sell they sell items, but um, like tamales and things. I can't wait to get a tamale, but um, I just wanted to save like the money that I brought um, to buy like little light things. Um, that just, you know, like kind of like when you go to Disneyland or whatever, they have like those little lights that flicker and stuff. I wanted to get one for him and all his cousins. Um, and then maybe some popcorn or something, something easy to share. Huh? Chunka. <laughs> Judy sing. No, I can't. <laughs> you guys shy or what? Did you get shy? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Judy. Hi, sugar. Hi, mom. <laughs> oh, my little funny bunny. I always get really nervous about pumping gas really late at night because there's a lot of people who ask for money and I just like they're really questionable. Um, I had an experience, hopefully you guys can see me, I had an experience a while ago, like maybe about five years ago, probably even longer than that. I was at a gas station and a guy opened my back door, like the, the back seat of my door, he opened the back door, he freaked me out, took off, like took off and the door shut and I just took off. I got so scared and it was up the street from my sister's house. I'm like, ugh, I'll never, I'll never pump there again. But anyways, that's the conclusion. I keep saying conclusion after every video now. Well, that's the end of the video, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!